Hello again. This is the Water Man Spiritual Toolbox number 224, John chapter 3, recording number 73, audio recording number 542, and examination table number 202. <clears throat> Now, we'll be continuing in uh, John chapter 3, verse 12. Okay? And I'm still in, like, describing stuff. Okay? Um, if I have told you of earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? Okay? And we were down... And how that pause this word Strong's G forty four fifty nine posts <clears throat> posts okay. it's like positive like the abbreviation you put for a positive sign but matters a little I don't think I mean it might but it's posts. Okay, now, I was describing how the fathers, well, the, the instructors, so there's a myriad of instructors, it says 10,000 in King James, right? And then what is that, First Corinthians 4, verse 14, 15, and there's a myriad, 10,000 it says, well, it's a myriad, myriads, Okay. Of instructors, an innumerable number of instructors, and they're harsh, baby leaders, little boy leaders. Right? <laughs> they're going to whip you. Nah. Okay, you got a, many of those. Okay? But not many pateers, many fathers. It's like your parents. Okay, it's more than just a, a male or a female. No, it's both. God is one, right? Right. In the spirit, there's neither male or female. God is one. Okay. Now, he's a self-existing one. Now, <coughs> God's ways is most gentler, right? And going from these levels, remember you're going from level. He's purifying these little balls of water. Of our thinking processes in our universe of th our mind, right? It's like out here is this worldly thing, it's cosmos out here, this whole universe, okay, 93 billion light years to the visible universe. That's not all, okay? No, not all, of it, okay? But just that that's invisible, or the visible universe. Okay, 93 billion light years. Remember, what is a light year? 6.2 e to the 12th, or 6.2 trillion miles, approximately. Okay. That's humongous. Okay. And a billion's 1 e to the 9. 1 with 9 zeros after it. All this. That's the engineering notation. Just a shorthand thing. So you don't have to go through this. Boom! Have to have a number for each one. No. God is immense. After you double these things, you, God's purifying you, and you double, double, double. It grows up to, oh my goodness, humongous. Pretty quickly. Once you get there. Okay. Remember, <clears throat> okay, it starts at that one little strand, which is a zero, that one little strand, that measure of faith, that limited portion of faith that God put inside of each and every person, all, pas, P-A-S, right? It tells you in uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 3, right? Give everybody a, limit, a measure of faith, right? And that faith is pistis, that's that. Faith that's coming back to the truthfulness of God. He's not a monster. I'll throw you in hell and torment you. No, that's what the carnal mind wants you to believe. It's religious, religious, exclusively religious, separative in your mind. That Pharisee in your mind. And that scribe that tries to put in its own two cents. 
so to speak. But that's not God's speaking. That's your own, me, myself, and I. Your own righteousness. That's that old log, that ego, ego, E-G-O. You know, you got to let go of your ego. Right? Blue letter Bible says ego. Let go of your ego. <laughs> like that waffle. <laughs> okay? Use that to help you remember. It's answering God out. Uh, if it's the enemy of God, it's directly opposed to God. That fleshly thinking and the Spirit of God, your own righteousness and God's righteousness are enmity. Are direct opposite. They're opposing. They're a dichotomy. Opposing thought processes. God's taking you out of your old stinking thinking and bringing it back in there through his storm to light, through his centrifuge, if you will. Spin it up there, and that centrifugal force, like in the natural, would separate it. Kind of like a merry go round. You go on a merry go round, and you better hang on if that thing is going to be very fast, or you can fly off of it. Right? <coughs> God separate me. Spin it up there, and make things seem totally out of your control. So you got to get, you give up on that poop thinking, your own righteousness, which is. Filthy stinking rags. Which all things and all things is done for winning Christ. That stuff's done. Poop, scat, all this stuff. And to have a healthy sound body, even in the natural, you gotta be able to poop and pee. Or your kidneys and then your intestines and everything. There's stuff wrong. You're gonna be sick. Yeah? Your body's gonna die. Be a carry-on, a dead body, not a soma, a sound whole body. I'm talking about in your mind, in your spirit. Okay? That soulish stuff is going dead. It's dying. It's a mixture of that dirt, that poop thinking, your own righteousness, with a little bit of God's seeds, that faith, pistis, put down in there. All the way down like a 1E to a negative 35. Little bitty, way beyond your ability to even think, no, you can't know it by your might and your power. It's got to be by my spirit, says the Lord, okay? Now, each one of these things, when we're going from level to level to level, and God's given the increase to these centrifuge things, storms of life, right? Just like Job said in Job chapter 23, verse 10. Pretty sure it's where it's at. It said, when God has tried me, he spoke to God in the whirlwind, the centrifuge, the storm. In the eye of the storm, okay? <clears throat> when God has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. That's pure gold. It's purifying it. Fire speaks of purification. Your carnal mind, your own righteousness wants to be, oh, scary down. <laughs> Wimp out. Don't be a big old pussy cat. Right? Well, I like little kid cats. Don't be a wimp. Right? Mm -mm. You won't qualify to go on and get that increase. Now, <coughs> sorry, start with that one. One or the zero, yeah, okay, which is that's what God's put in you, okay, but it's not a zero, it's that one e to the negative 35 measure of faith, a limited portion, you don't even know nothing about it, okay, mm -hmm. Jesus is still like, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing, they don't know nothing about it. Even they increase for a while. Still, it's limited on how much they know. Right? And that's in each and every area of your thinking processes. Hmm. Be sober-minded. Don't think of yourself too highly. Huh? Okay. Now, 
<coughs> Starts out to one and doubles when you qualify and you green light God two, then four, then six, then eight. And it takes all that, like from a four to an eight, takes the four plus the two plus the one plus reliance totally in God, that faith. And the turning from that old stuff when it's separated and autonomize that stuff and ooh, yuck, it stinks. Hmm. All right, turn from that stuff. Don't don't keep eating it. Hog slop, poop, scat, all that. Ew, yeah, your own righteousness. Don't eat that stuff. What you say is good, bad, and evil. When you start going but 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 on the contrary, contrary wise, God, you're not entering the gate. Entering through the gate to God's increase. God said pastures into God's righteousness. You're that thief, robber, right? Like it says in John chapter 1, or 10, verses 1 through 10. Trying to enter any other way than Jesus Christ, the gate, the door. Jesus, number 2424, 24, Jesus means God is salvation, Yahweh. Take out the vows and all this stuff. It's right now. Decide, right? So you're using, say you're at four and eight. You're using four plus two plus one, which is seven. You add them together. Put them like seven pounds of stress on there. And you need the eight to be able to go to 16. God doubles it. The increase is amazing. 1 to 2 to 4 to 8 to 16, right? Pretty soon, man, you're making monstrous gains, and all you're doing is relying again and again and again, pressing into God, follow me. But now what Jesus said, be in hot pursuit of me. His ways. God is salvation. God is the way back to that love, completing that love that God has for you. Now, possess it for yourself. Drive out those former inhabitants. That old, your old righteousness. Your old stinking thinking. Those ites. Well, Deuteronomy 7 1. All that fear, violence, all this stuff. That Jebusite. There's a chief, and you'll be the chief and captain. The first one to do that. All that do, 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 poo, poo in your temple. I know you know that you are the temple of the living God. Not just this external buildings. That'd be like the outer court. Not just your body. Not just each individual person. Not not just all the people. Or even the individual person. That'd be like the second day in the earth. Or your Pentecostal experience. Go on in. Inside. Clean up, get in there. Don't be a, just a Pharisee shining outside. Go get inside. God's still in where? Right inside you. The deepest recesses of your your heart, your mind, your thinking processes. That's where you go. Right inside. He's cleaning up, bowling up those little balls of muddy up water so you can keep coming into him. And he gives the increase. God gives the increase. Not you. It's not by your might nor by your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men to me. You keep focused on God. Sing wideness of a dove, tightly locked to God. <clears throat> and you get to the point to where you're quantumly entangled. You'll know it's up or down immediately. Faster than speed of light. It's instantaneous. You don't have to wait. Like from the sun, the light to get from the natural sun to the earth takes about eight minutes. Okay? You don't even have to wait for that time. God's got to up. Good to go. You know, uh, God's going this way. It's tightly locked. It's automatically spin down. That way. You, so you automatically know the interpretation of it. Because your carnal mind is telling you just opposite. It's a bully, tyrant. 
It's a laughing mouth of dog. It's a jackass. It's a, ew, it's a beast nature. Get that. Let God take that 666 out of your forehead and out of your works, out of your hand, out of your mind, out of, out of each thought process. He's working down in there. And the timeless things that you can't even, you don't even know about. That presumptuous, sinful nature. An offenseful thing to you. For you. You can't do it yourself. You're deaf, dumb, lame, and blind. You can't see, hear, taste, touch, or smell with that old log in your eye. Trust in God and get this extra one. So whenever you're going from one to two to four to eight, going from eight to 16, you got the four plus two plus one experiences that God's increased you. Go to them. Use them. Those little strands of rope twisted together. You're going to need every bit of it and relying upon God totally. And coming out of that faith, going back to the truthfulness of God. God's a great hero. He's your exceeding great reward. Boom, you jump up to 16. Do it next time. Need that one extra, all that you got. Like the poor widow woman giving like her two pennies. With all that she had. And then trust it in God. Everything you got in pursuit, in hot pursuit. Don't give up. And boom, jump you again. Double, 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 double. Pretty soon, man, that thing is way beyond a, a legion. Fourth, a legion is 4,000 to 6,400. <clears throat> I can be troops for or troops against. Keep following your crap thing, and it's like those demonic thoughts. But it's not monsters outside. It's just speaking of your own stinking thinking. You gotta die to yourself, don't you? Not feed that bullshit. I mean, uh, it's just worthless and te detestable. Trying to get you back to God. You can't tell. I count all that stuff done for winning Christ, right? Open your eyes. Spiritual. Eyes. Let God see. Let God do it. Okay? And God's ways is gentle. You won't put more on it than you can handle. Just keep giving all. Post that reliance upon Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. All of His thought processes. And lean not on your own understanding. Don't turn around like Lot's wife and, oh, what was back there? I might have missed. Man, I might be losing something there. My own righteousness looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Pillar of salt. Can't go on. You don't qualify. Oops. It's not water baptism that's saving you. That's just you dedicating yourself to God. Mm. Go on beyond that. God permit you go on from out here at outer court. The holy place, go into the holy of holies inside. Water baptism, baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's where it's at. God's doing it. And you're agree, 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 agree with everything you got and trust in Him, everything you got. That keeps adding that one. And it's double, double, double. Through all three ages, three days. In your earthly thinking. Move y'all, baby. All right? God's making his appearance in you as you overcome. I understand. I see, hear, taste, touch, and smell more of God's righteousness. I can love the way God loves because he first loved me and he is bringing me back as I agree, agree, agree into God. Not about a month just to greet off a dog. <laughs> spit you out of his mouth. You gotta spit that crap out too. That's not, man, that's not right. <laughs> Come back to God. Pull the bore. Hmm? Alright. 
Now, let's read this little note down here I got. Uh, yeah, it's God's twisting these little ropes and they're getting them more one to two to four. It's twisted into a stronger and stronger rope. You're growing spiritually as you agree more, right? Green lighting God. Oh, and these, these, um, strands like one to two to four to eight to sixteen then you're getting ready to go to thirty two well all this zero that's a number that's what kind of starts with that actual um see the faith that limited portion of faith it's not an absolute zero it's just maybe like at one e to negative thirty five beyond your ability physical natural ability with that carnal mind to know God but it's there God didn't lose one. Not any. God didn't lose one. Huh? Even if it's extremely lightweight, still got his breath in there. His spirit. If it wasn't, you'd just be dead. Be like that dirt on the ground. You can't exist without the self existing one. So exist, exist, exist back into him and he's purifying that water. Because it muddied up water. You're thinking that's always thinking, if you will. Okay? Now, all these things in here, say you're at level 16, you're under 32. Well, you got this, you got the 8, or you got the 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, and then you get that level 0. The one e to the negative thirty-five. That plankly size, seed of faith, right? Seed of Christ. Okay. It seems all of God doesn't even exist, but He does. Down in there, it's way beyond your means, way beyond the natural man's ability to understand it. You can't understand the Spirit of God with your carnal mind. It's Enmity directly opposed to God's ways. Okay, now remember it says, What, how, how much I can give? <laughs> quacks and squacks on, carries on like a, I put muzzle on that dog, that beast nature, right? Rely upon God. Now you got on this, all this, you got all these things here out of this zero plus this one, two, four, six, eight. 16 to get to level 32. All this in here can't get rid of it. That's what God's given you. That's the increases in this area of your thinking. This is your gospel. This is your good news. God is reconciling me. God is purifying me. God is changing my old righteous thinking, my mixed up double mindedness. Back into his righteousness. Back into his love beyond words. Bring us from this state of he loves us beyond words, child. Beyond the description of mere words, as child. Bring us to this. Bring us back to a state, to, to a higher and higher level or state of being, of existing in him. To be able to rachama, to love him. As he first saw does to a greater and greater and greater level of understanding of enlightenment in him and in his love. Woohoo! God is great. And he's intensely passionate. Intensely passionate. His desire and his passion is great. It's faithful to do this. You just got to agree. If you keep feeding that old, you don't want to increase at all. But there's still some. God cannot deny himself. Hmm. Not even if everybody else is saying, you're a dirty rotten this, and you may have so much mud, muddied water in you, you ugh, man, that dude's a pair or that mad woman. Ah, yuck. God... It's at least that little bit, that one that says zero, but it's a one e to negative thirty-five. Plankling size seed of faith, seed of Christ in there. 
and they don't even that person doesn't even know it. But thank God, he's not losing one. He's not losing any. He gave a measure, a limited portion of faith to all. Not just some. Not just because it's approved by humanity, by people. <laughs> this is God. God's in control. Just like Jesus said in Luke 23, verse 34. And he's being crucified on the cross. Oh, my. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. And he's being all of them. All of them. He paid the price, right? Mm, he bought you with a price. Oh, my goodness. No greater love has a man than to get laid down his life. Hmm. Whew. I'm going to finish that, but be a little bit good, but I'm, I'm going to go on right now. Okay. Now, let's just read this here. I got, Father God equips us to handle the required pressures of the upcoming increase, the next level. Um... Okay, the next level going into his great love, his righteousness, right? One to two to four. From level four, he's got, you got the, the eight, you got the four, two, the one, and then he has zero, that one tiny, tiny, tiny seed. If you trust in, it'll give you that extra one. But it's going to be everything you got. It's load testing. It? Do you trust in me, my child? Be reasonable. Sit my way. Are you qualified to go on into God with greater and greater and greater levels of understanding? You got a whole myriad of that stuff. An innumerable number of those muddy balls of water and that constantly increasing that universe of mind, that orderly arrangement, orderly Arrangement in the mind of humanity. In the mind of your humanity. Take care of your own backyard. Don't worry about Jim, Bob, Jane, all these people out here. Uh -uh. Get your mind right first. Get that log out of your eyes so you can see the help. In that area. To whatever level you're at. Not beyond. Hmm? Or you could find yourself sticking your foot in your mouth. Do no harm than good. Okay. <clears throat> now. Okay. Yeah, I just, I kind of said this right here already. Next level of love is like two to four. And from that, you need the two and the one to get to level four. Plus that little zero. That one, that's not actually the absolute zero. Hmm? To where everything's slowing down to a complete stop in the tiniest microscopic. Mm -mm. There's a little bit of movement in there. God's providing that for you. Thank you, Father. You'll be faithful, grateful for the least. They're just as important. And actually, to get these increases, that's the real important. That's like the gap. If you get from four to eight, you had the four plus two plus one, but you still got that gap. That's trusting in God. And that's all the experiences. Those are of God. That's what he's given you. He's increased you. It's not just the experience. What was me? No. Or I was a big bad bully and I can put no. You're boasting in God. Glory in the Lord. Not in this old yuck thinking. There's a word that it's not doxa or glory. It's another word I just can't pull up off my I can't pull up right now. I'm not gonna Go look and search it on down for that right now. I, 
remember it was in Romans when I was studying that, but that's been a long time, quite a while ago, okay? All right. Now, it requires a... Uh, I'm just kind of looking at this. Okay. I think I covered that fairly good. Not in the exact order I had there, but I covered it. Okay, now... These three days in the earth, in your tomb, your mind, okay? This is three ages, it's experiences, Passover, Pentecost, Tabernacle, experiences, not names, on some building. I'll tell you, it's the call the church, you hear it out of court. <laughs> and if you're just calling the people church, then that's kind of maybe, you know, Second day kind of experience thing. Yeah, you're gonna be on that. It's dealing right down inside of you. Not be like this Pharisee on the outside of the cup to look good. Hmm. I clap my hands, cold church. Come on, man. Okay, go in there where God's working. Hmm. He's still working on me to make me want to be. All right. Now, that was a spiritual toolbox number 224, John chapter 3, verse 73, or recording number 73. I'll continue later. Bye-bye.